Max Conte reporting. Yeah. Come on, sing it. Money. Money changes everything. I say money. And money changes everything. <laughs> Does it? Does money change everything? Marcus Conti reporting on the latest, on the latest breaking news. Bernie Sanders emerges as the Democratic primary frontrunner. Pow! Holy shit, I can't believe it. He's the frontrunner. No, really? Based on what metric? Who said? What? Mainstream media? What? Who? Bernie Sanders? No, he's not the frontrunner. How is he frontrunner? He didn't make anything. What fucking front runner? What are you talking about, man? He's not the front runner. He's uh, he's uh, he's in the back. Put him in the back of the list, man. Put him at the back of the line. Bernie Sanders. Oh, he's a socialist. He's too old. He can't run. <laughs> That's what they say, right? So let's dive into this shit, man. Fucking Bernie Sanders. Bernie, here we go. Fucking Bernie. There he is. Look at him. Right? I'm gonna keep covering it. Why? Because this is important. This. is there's election fraud in our country, and people don't want to fess up. People still think that, oh, no, 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 everything's fair. We're fucking, you know, they, we're, no, no, we have fair elections, but uh, down in Venezuela, no, no, that's a, that's a shady election. Let's go down there and overthrow the fucking country, right? So the latest, the latest, Bernie Sanders 2020 campaign raised $4 million in a half a day. Four million dollars and a half a day. That makes him the front runner, right? Because money changes everything. Money is the number one factor. Uh, Bernie Sanders' campaign says he has raised more than four million dollars. This is AP reporting. Four million dollars in twelve hours since annou- announcing his twenty twenty presidential campaign. That number is going to keep going up. There's no doubt about it. Vermont senator said Tuesday. Nearly 150,000 individuals had contributed to his Democratic campaign right out of the box, right out of the gate. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, Vermont senator, previously the biggest uh, fundraiser, first day fundraiser in the race, had been California Camilla Harris, who raised $1.5 million in the 24 hours of her first campaign. So let me do the math there. So so Camilla Harris made hundred a hundred and one point five million and Sanders raised four million, right? So, so San and that's a whole day, Camilla Harris. So let's put Sanders probably about four and a half million. So that means Bernie Sanders outraised the front runner, the former front runner, Camilla Harris, uh by three to one. Now is CNN gonna report that? Is is MSNBC going to report that Bernie Sanders is now the Democratic front front runner based on their own goddamn metric money, their own metric money? Right? Am I making that up? No, I'm not making that up. Let's look. Let's keep going. Right? So, so the big picture, Camille Harris. Right? All right. So that's just another one. But here, right? Who who is the who is the the guru, <laughs> the election guru, right? Of of uh, elections, right? It's 538. You remember Hillary Clinton? Oh, Nate Silver at 538 said that I'm the front runner, right? Right? That's what she said. You remember that? So, so so we have to look, we'll look at 538. What does 538 said, right? The candidate who spends the most money usually wins. <laughs> On their own metric, right? How strong is the association between campaign spending and political success? For house seats, more than 90% of the candidates who spend the most win. From 2000 to 2016, there was only one election cycle where that wasn't true, and that was 2010. Right? So, based on their on their own metric, right? Bernie Sanders emerges as the front runner. Right? Holy smokes! Right? So, so it's it's going to be interesting. Look, in the in the spirit of of whistle blowing, I'm going to continue to follow this, not because. I'm a Bernie Sanders booster or a Donald Trump booster, a Bernie supporter or a, a Trump supporter. I'm neither. I'm, I'm, I'm neutral. But I do have a, a, uh, a historical 
perspective on this, where Bernie Sanders not only did a, did a tremendous service to the country, he's coming forward with the policies. He, I know, I know, he's too old. He's too. He's he's a Russian spy. He's he's a socialist. He's he. What else? You know, every every excuse right, that they're going to throw at this guy. But the fact is, Bernie Sanders, out of the gate, right out of the box, right. He has that fresh car smell. He has emerged as the front runner, the Democratic front runner in the 2020 Democratic primary. Indisputable now, right? So we'll see. We have to watch the cheating as the cheating, you know, prevails. There's still people out there that don't believe it. They they say, oh no, no, there was no election fraud. No, no, no. Elections in our country are fair. What? Uh, canceling the exit polls, the exit polls not matching in 2016. Purging 2,000 votes in Brooklyn, not counting 2 million votes in California, giving them a hatchet job, every, every single governor in every single state, downplaying him, super delegates, you know, all kinds of fake shit, right? Money laundering at the DNC, outright cheating, favoritism, right? No election fraud, though, right? <laughs> didn't happen, right? It didn't happen. Hillary Clinton beat Bernie Sanders, you remember? He beat him. Uh, she beat him. Right? That's what they said. Right? She beat him. Uh, well, that's not what the that's not what the evidence suggests. So we have to watch. We have to watch in our fair democracy. We have to be watchdogs. We have to we have to assure that there are free and fair elections in our fair country, right? And Bernie Sanders is now the fucking front runner, right, to face off against Donald Trump, right? That's just the fact. That's the fact on their own metric. Let's see how they report it. Oh, become a Patreon while we're talking about money. Kindly become a Patreon. I want to follow this all the way to the end. I want to be the, 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 the purveyor of truth and justice in our election cycle and also in, in, in all our other uh, 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 world affairs. Right? So become a Patreon. I'm not going away. Right? Truth, is, truth is important. Right? We're on the, the precipice of destroying the fake news media. Right? Marcus Conti emerging as a front runner, right? but that's only that's only if you contribute, right? right? I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Marcus Conti, reporting. 